How's it going guys? My name is Alex. Good evening. And uh, do you know what this is? This is ability to trade players. So I'm really pumped for that. We're gonna be covering that in a second, but these are apparently the epic cards that are scheduled to be released uh, starting Monday. Uh, hopefully this is the selection. There's a, also a possibility of Ronaldinho appearing instead of one of these players, but you know, no. And of course, uh, there are some additional cards uh, that are complementing that pack. Well, inside the game itself, you'll find so many different uh, new rewards. Uh, in particular, you can now get a free kit, Blue Lock campaign. Uh, we're gonna be claiming that uh, right now. Also, you get uh, the Blue Lock second selection uh, one, two, three more chances, and uh, you get the Calibration campaign avatar again. Uh, get some bonus. There's gonna be apology from admin because there's some kind of error previously. So, uh, very cool start of the uh, Thursday. Let's take a look at the packs. Uh, there is a player of the week selection. There is some uh, Japanese uh, J-League selection as well. I'm not covering that because the value is not there. I feel like obviously it's 100 players, only two featured cards, uh, boosted cards that is. I just, I'm not a big fan. If you're wondering how good this card is, you can go to eFootball Hub and check them out. So this is Florian Wurz. It's a nice card, not necessarily the best whole player in this game. The uh, Showtime card is, I feel like, a yeah, very, very nice uh, card of this player. And you get um, some uh, nice stats. In addition, obviously, the booster activated. I feel like when he's only in A condition, got double touch, some nice passing techniques through passing, pinpoint crossing. Feel like it's not bad. You're obviously getting a free try when you're uh, trying these cards out uh, and uh, you are getting a very uh, mid selection of players. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Another whole player, just because he's a whole player, it uh, was exciting before. Now it's this trick uh, from Konami is not working anymore. And uh, there's Yeremchuk. I'm really excited to get him. That's the only player I'm really pumped for. Nice, uh, since he's a super sub, I feel like he is gonna be interesting. Get him from the bench in the second half and uh, just cross into him and uh, there's Malen uh, I feel like it's not a bad card Nelson Semedo, let's take a look at this attack and fullback and play right midfielder which is already I'm interested has okay dribbling but the passing is atrocious so uh, he's only pace merchant but somehow this type of card still work and I've seen people play him in like a center midfielder uh, center back position because he can like uh, his other card can do this and surprisingly it kind of worked so I'm not gonna be saying that it is not possible just based on the stats it's a little bit of a weird decision to do that some people have been asking about my Inzaghi build and uh, there you go this is the free Inzaghi I uh, obviously added him additional skills and these skills are phenomenal and uh, this is how the build is looking uh, I didn't change it since the update obviously I don't want to waste GPs on that and um, this is the build and these are the skills that I gave him Very nice bit of luck there, at least uh, somewhere I'm lucky in this game. But yeah, let's take a look at the uh, situation on Twitter. Uh, this is the post, uh, you go uh, check my Twitter, this last post, uh, and uh, this is where I suggest you share your formations and I'm gonna be reviewing them live on stream. This is where, uh, yeah, you get additional block players, that's what we mentioned. This is the pack where I would not recommend you going unless you want to build like a Japanese team. And uh, there is the blue lock kit. I honestly guys I'm not following this manga I'm not sure where if it is good or not but uh, this kit is me that's my opinion I don't need that uh, but still you see that's how it looks uh, with the celebration uh, I mean it's interesting it looks uh, like a nurse uniform though uh, but yeah it is what it is uh, there is um, a, a possibility of these cards dropping on Monday so Adriano Nedved and Ronaldinho Gocho or Gans Obviously, they're not going to be dropping all three and uh, all four, <laughs> but uh, all three on the top row is not going to be happening as well. It will be way too good of a pack. There should be like uh, balancing it out with guns, whom nobody is pretty much knowing unless you're like a diehard Milan fan. And uh, yeah, these are the additional players that I mentioned. Uh, Quartz Helia, you can add additional skills on him. I've improved Pulisic and Gitarian. I have him already. Uh, very nice card. Uh, El Sharabi, nice. Uh, like it seems like this. He's been playing since like 50, FIFA 14, I believe. Like he was like a pace merchant back then. 
So there you go, this is, uh, yeah, I see the Chinese flag, that means that this game is Chinese and this is pretty much how the trade uh, system works. They even have a different way of, uh, like, uh, you can see the layout of players is different there, similar to the console game. I'm not sure if that's actually, I feel like these small icons are on mobile are much better, uh, better designed and uh, is, um, tucked into your uh, layout of your formation compared to as opposed to this and even on console it looks kind of goofy. This kind of like square, but like pearly pipit type of a card, so if you like, yikes. But yeah, this is, um, if that's a thing on Chinese game, not necessarily gonna be happening here, but we've seen already a lot of things, uh, like goofy things uh, in this game uh, dropping. Uh, yeah, maybe anything can happen. So yeah, speaking of Ronaldinho cards, look, they are not even trying, like the design is the same. Legendary card of Milan the same, this epic card, the design is the same, and then the booster card is finally here. And I'm not sure if that is the card that we're gonna be seeing on Monday, most likely not. Uh, but just in case, let's assume there is a 30 levels, right? Not gonna be way too generous, over the roof generous, but there's also a booster. So the booster is definitely gonna be boosting something like dribbling or finishing or speed or acceleration or balance. This is an insane card, even without the booster on 30 levels. So if you get in this Ronaldinho, like this is why so many people are saving coins. Uh, this is the player what they're looking for. I'm not. I'm saving coins for a different like uh, purpose. Like yes, I have like a. Uh, like a special fund that I'm saving apart from the donors that donors help me get any player in this game most likely if we're getting there uh, but uh, when I'm opening uh, from uh, for the, but I also do separate pack opening for my free to play team where I'm saving my coins in inbox and uh, yeah this is pretty much how it looks Ronaldinho Gauch a very nice card I would like to get him on my first try uh, there's uh, not a single card I've got on my first try uh, like a very very good card but yeah it is what it is the petit though was 900 coins so that was already nice besides savage coins were very nice so let's take a look at Adriano uh, many people are um, were disappointed with the big, big time Adriano so there's uh, the boosted Adriano obviously a better card Let's assume there are 30 levels too, which is, he can be getting 28, he can be getting 32. It is very close, but the main idea is that he's gonna be getting a booster and that is gonna be improving his kind of like a finishing, I guess. So you would want to sacrifice some kind of finishing stats, right? And then try to maybe, uh, or even like, yeah, because if that's a booster for finishing, 90 finishing is gonna be more than enough. But yeah, let's downgrade a little bit of um, aerial strengths maybe, right? Because. Are you gonna be crossing on him or like taking long shots and in order to get into position take a long shot I would want some dribbling because you want to control the ball right first touch control the ball first some sharp touch Like or maybe some kind of dribble if you're cheeky with the Marcel turn because he has that There's a nice set of skills for long range shots uh, He has that might be long range curler add that on him not necessarily a good idea because with this kicking power right and it's gonna be probably more than that it's gonna be easily getting to 99 I guess with the booster uh, you're gonna be getting there right uh, you don't need to curl and uh, let's take a look at Gans who is apparently a new player um, never heard of him I was not really a big fan of Milan growing up so I don't really know a lot of like Milan B tier legends but maybe I'm uh, deluded though so let me know in the comments because obviously there are so many aficion aficionados of uh, Milan in the comments every time I'm talking about uh, them um, or any club in particular so this is a fantastic player just because his offense awareness is absolutely broken uh, he, yes you would want to have more dribbling uh, but uh, this is really difficult to, to kind of like redistribute right is he tall? Not really tall, so no need to our arrow strengths, he's not gonna be winning the headers there. But I would want to just boost some dribbling and depending on the booster he's gonna be getting, I would want to boost it to like at least 80 type possession, so it's kinda acceptable in today's environment of this game. And then the final one is Nedved, and uh, Nedved card is where they actually have a little bit of a, yeah, different, different images, right? This was a legendary Nedved, this was like epic Nedved. And uh, there we go, this is the boosted Nedved from Czech Republic. Not interested, we're interested in this one. Uh, let's take a look at better. This one had how many levels? 30, yeah? 30 is absolutely um, nice number to rely on. And uh, we're gonna be getting a booster. This is an insane card. First and foremost, the other one was uh, box to box. So I feel like Nedved as box to box is much more interesting. But yeah, whole player, cool. And uh, yeah, attacking midfielder though, right? Attacking midfielder, no defensive stats. And this is one of the Nedved cards that you don't want to even to touch this card, the stats, because really hard to make him a good defender, right? 
I've seen people play Nedved as a defensive midfielder, sole pivot point. And trust me, anything in this game can happen. So I'm not even surprised anymore. Anything can work. All the advice can go into the bin. If it works for you, good for you. But this attacker midfielder, whole player making a run, like no need to start and make him like a redistribute dribbling and make him a defender all of a sudden. It's gonna be probably a bad idea. He's really pacey, has good balance, has good dribbling. And uh, also, okay, finishing, there's a booster, right? It's gonna be boosting something, or gonna be deducting some stats, improving. But in general, Nedved is a fantastic player, and I'm looking forward to uh, get this card. Uh, yeah, these are uh, the updates. Uh, all the pack opening is gonna be happening live on stream, so make sure you join in me, and I'll see you there uh, later in, uh, I feel like, five hours from now. Peace.